Hey everyone, I just wanted to introduce myself. Uh, first of all, I'm the community manager for the Photo Focus uh, community. And I've uh, been part of some mighty network platforms uh, based communities in the past. I've run a couple of my own. So I have a pretty good understanding of how it works. Um, you know, there's always certain things that don't work, um, but that's technology, you know. Anyway, I just wanted to introduce myself uh, in person so you see who I am and know who I am. Um, I'm always open to questions. If you guys have questions or suggestions and what you'd like to see in the community, we would like to hear from you. Um, I'm around quite often. You can send me private messages or email me, um, or contact me through the community. Um, but really what I'd like to do today is kind of walk you through just very basics of how the platform works, um, the best ways that you can uh, get involved with what's going on in the community. And so that I can uh, show you how to navigate a little bit. Um, every platform has got its own little intric, intric, whatever, intric, whatever, you know what I mean, not coming out today. Um, and even differences between the web-based version and the iOS version and the Android version, you know, there's always little differences that make it not always easy, but um, today I'm going to mostly show you the uh, web-based version. I happen to use that almost 100% of the time. I do have the app on my phone, um, but since I'm at my desk all the time, I tend to use the uh, web-based version. So let me share my screen here. Uh, we're going to share this screen and I'm going to take you through where, how things kind of work. So when you first come on, you're going to have, this is like your basic homepage, your home screen. Um, so right off the bat, what I would really like to suggest is that you click on your profile picture up here in the corner. Um, you go to your settings and you set up your profile under edit profile. Okay. So you fill in your name, a little bit about yourself, your location um, is up to you. The, the really cool thing about this platform is that you can find people who are near you based on your location. So in the future, when we're able to do photo, photo walks, um, we plan on doing organized photo walks through this platform. It'll be a great way to, to find others in your area. Um, and even if you're just looking for somebody to go out and shoot with, you know, it might be a good idea. Um, and in your F Facebook, LinkedIn, you know, your website, if you, if you would like a little introduction, your time zone. Um, and please, if you haven't, I know there's still a lot of people who haven't done this, add a profile picture. It's, it's very easy. You just click on the little pencil and upload your image and add your photo. Um, you can also update this header image here. Same thing, your edit button right here. Um, click on that and it'll let you add a photo. So that's the first thing to do when you join is to make sure you update your profile, add a photo, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you are. Um, and that way we all can just learn a little bit about each other. And then you hit save and you are all good with your profile. Um, after that, I, I'm just, these are suggestions based on kind of the flow of how things go. Um, there's a main photo focus community, which um, is where you'll see all your posts and other people's posts. You can't actually post in the main community. <clears throat> what there are, are groups. So if you go over here to the menu on the left, there's a, um, Wait, I lied. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> Hold on. All right. So second, after you update your profile, add in the information, add a picture, I would come here to the about section. Um, this is where you're going to learn what, what is this community all about. Um, it's all written out here, what it's about. You can see how many people are in the network. Um, so once you, you know, read through that, there is also um, a welcome section. And in this welcome section, you can, you'll see there's other uh, pieces of information which will help you um, understand more how the platform works, what the community is about and what, what our intentions are here. So if you go to here and you know why we built the community, 
again, these are, this is all just general information that will help you understand, you know, and, and help you help us make, make the community successful. Um, and then there was also under the about section, a welcome to photo focus community and a join a group. So again, I would definitely click through these and read them. Um, the join a group is where I'm heading next. So this is a good, a good explanation it tells you what groups are, um, why do you want to join them? The, the little bit of rules, um, you know, because we, we always have to have rules. <laughs> So from there, I would come over here and head over to the group section. Under here, you'll see all the groups that are available. Um, right now, this is what we have. We're going to be adding more. Um, it, again, suggestions. I have a list of suggestions already to add. We don't want to overwhelm with too much, and we don't want to um, like divide up all the members of the community into different groups right away. We'd all like to get to know each other. Uh, share images, talk about photography, um, you know, before we start just only being a portrait photographer and, and not meeting anybody else. So um, I would suggest joining the open forum because that one is, is what it is, right? It says open forum. You can post pictures in there um, and it's a, just an open place to have conversations about pretty much anything um, photography related. And then you just, you know, go down and go through what other groups um, that interest you. Community learning uh, will be tutorials and articles from the community. There will be things from uh, the photo focus authors. There will be shared uh, behind the scenes posts from other members. Um, anything that you think will help someone with their photography or in learning a new technique or something about some kind of gear that helped them do something um, can be posted in the community learning section. Um, next, if you're, if you're up for it, is a fun just weekly photo challenges. Myself and Julie Powell run a, a weekly challenge that's posted every Monday morning, um, Monday morning about 7 a.m. Chicago time. So, so far uh, we're on the second one. Um, it's just a fun kind of way to push you out of your comfort zone. Maybe shoot something you haven't, uh, maybe get your, your muse uh, going again. If you're not feeling like shooting anything, sometimes just, just having some kind of challenge will help you um, pick up your camera and start shooting again. And then we have just, you know, general genres of photography, which again, we'll be adding to. So you would, if you're interested in film, make sure you join the film group or mobile photography, astrophotography, make sure you join these groups um, in order to um, participate within those groups on those particular subjects. So that is groups. Um, now I'm gonna take you in, I'm gonna go into the open forum and I'm gonna show you how to post an image or just make a post. Um, if you look here under the open forum, or this is going to be the same in any group, right? So if you're in the photo challenges group, all the all at the top of every group is going to be your your photo and a white text box. So if you let me go back because I don't want to post in that group. Um, if you go to that text box and click in it, you're going to open up the text box, and you'll see you'll be able to add an image here. So um, um, I'm just going to type in here what I want to say about my image. Um, it would be nice if you just didn't just share images, if you kind of tell us about them a little bit, why you took the image, you know, what made you stop where you stopped to take it, what settings you had, you know, um, just a little bit, share uh, what's going on in the image um, instead of just posting images and running, because um, then we don't know what you're posting for other than to just post an image. Um, so um, showing how to post an image, right? So you just click on the camera, makes sense, right? And then you, you know, go choose your image, let it upload and hit post. And that's it. So you post an image, that's how you post an image. Um, and it's the same in every group. If you're, for some reason, if you happen to be sitting in the main section, like the very beginning of everything, the main community, and you won't see that white text box, you have to be in a group to post an image. 
Um, so just to let you know that. Now, anytime you wanna go back to the very beginning where the uh, main menu is and everything, you'll see each group has its own menu. It has its own discovery where you'll see, you know, what's um, posted. Actually, the discovery shows up for the open forum. Um, you can see each member in each group separately. So if I go back, oh, cause I was in open forum, sorry, lost my, lost my way there for a second. Um, so then, okay, sorry, we, here we go. Forgive me, I'm, I'm not the best at doing these videos. I'm, I'm learning though, so that's part of what this is for. Um, I'm in the open forum group, that's how I post, right? Click in there, click on the camera, post my image. Um, anytime you want to go back to the main menu, up in the left-hand corner, click on the back to network with the little photo focus logo, and it'll take you back to the very uh, beginning. This is where I was. I was in groups. If I click on home, that's the photo focus community, which is the main like home page, which shows everything that was posted. So within this, within this, you can see where people have posted and what group they're in. This little bit, a uh, little down here shows that I just posted this image in the open forum group. If, you, if I scroll down here, Ralph posted this in the landscape photographers group. The other thing is if you have issues or you have any questions or there's something that you, you know, again, suggestions are, are you know, we're open to. Um, look for someone who has the photo focus team listed under their name. I think if you click on that, you'll see the photo focus team members. So everybody here in this little line are photo focus members, or you can see all the photo focus member posts by doing that. Um, anybody who has that, that under their name, you can reach out to. Um, if I'm not available, I prefer you come to me first just because, um, you know, everybody's busy and I, it's kind of my job to take care of this community. So um, if I can't answer you, I'll figure it out and get an answer for you. Um, the other thing that I would like to talk about is posting under images. Okay. So in this particular, I'm going to click on, uh, uh, where is it posted? a week ago. So if I click on that, it opens up the outside, right? So um, it kind of brings a fly out in and you can see the whole post and the whole image. Or if you click on an image, it opens it up in Lightbox type. So you can see the whole image. Uh, sometimes it's best to do that, especially if a vertical image, because um, they can be cut off on mobile, especially the vertical images don't quite show unless you click on them to see the whole thing. Um, you can also click on this little arrow up here and it'll make, it'll make the post full size, like full screen, right? As opposed to just a fly out. So when you're posting and you're commenting on somebody's image, you know, you can post your own images on here underneath. That's a link somebody posted to their Flickr image. Um, you know, that's fine too. So when you, I'm going to make a comment on this post, same thing. If you click in the text box, you can share a photo a link um, and do that. Um, my suggestion for this is if you're, I was gonna try and find an example here. There was one I just saw the other day. Um, somewhere I found it and I'm not gonna find it really quick today. Um, it's this image. Okay, so Patrick posted this um, talking about a photography printing techniques, alternative uh, techniques group, which we'll add. Um, eventually. And other people posted images underneath. So in my, and this is maybe just my opinion, but if you want, if you want more interaction on your photo, make your own photo, its own post and not a comment on somebody else's image, right? You comment on somebody's image and, you know, oh, that reminds me of this image I took, but, but, you know, post it on its own post and you'll get more interaction on it instead of just commenting with an image. Um, you know, again, the more information you share with us, the more this becomes interactive and learning experience for all of us. Um, so that was, uh, that was the other thing I wanted to comment on. Um, you know, just 
uh, click around, you know, um, look for, uh, if you click on topics, it shows you the, the place, the different topics and, and anywhere you click on one of these, you know, it'll be, those are the, those are the, uh, sorry, those are the, <laughs> um, those are the, those are the notification sounds, which you can turn off, <laughs> which I'll show you. Um, go to your settings, go to sounds, turn off, turn off, turn off. And like, I planned that so I could show you where this was, right? Anyway, um, if you go to topics, topics will be the main topics where things are listed under. Um, events will be for you to um, find out where our events are, like the photography show, which we just did this afternoon, um, will be every month we'll post the link and the uh, information for that for each episode. Um, every month we'll also have a community hangout, which you'll see here and you'll be able to click on the event and join the Zoom meeting once it starts. You'll be able to find that there. Um, same thing with notifications. You can go into notifications, um, event updates and reminders, and you can turn those on and off up to you if you want to be reminded. Um, your notifications might take a while for you to figure out what works for you and what doesn't, you know, um, in the, in the beginning, it's like everything is turned on and you're getting emails every time somebody, you know, likes a post, which is a little insane. Um, so those are the events. Um, there's a link to photofocus.com here for you. So you can just go right to our website if you need to or want to, um, to look, you know, at the latest, latest articles, latest information. And what else? You can invite other people. So if you go, okay, what did I just do? So if you click on um, invite and you scroll down, you can copy the link to send to people and invite to invite them. Um, it makes you an ambassador and you get a little, a little uh, gold, little shield or silver or bronze, depending on what level you are, which is, you know, kind of fun. Um, and I believe that's about it for now. Again, you know, click on members, you can click on those people near you and it'll pull up the people who are near you. Um, these top people, like I know, I'm actually going shooting somewhere with Tammy tomorrow. Um, it's a great way to find out who's near you. Um, again, like I said, it's it, this community is about interacting and helping each other and learning from each other. Um, we will eventually be posting freebies. There's some freebies out there already. Um, there will be some giveaways. We'll do some photo walks when we're able. And um, any questions you have, just please, you know, just, just ping me. I'm, uh, I'm around more than I should be, but I'm around. <laughs> so hopefully that'll help you guys. If you think, uh, if there's still things I didn't answer, let me know. And I can do another one of these. I need practice. Can you tell? And I'm glad you're all part of this community. I'm looking forward to seeing where we take this. Talk to you later.